common question I get asked is what camera I actually use to film my YouTube videos. And majority of the time, people get super, super confused when I tell them I just use the camera that's in my pocket. That's my iPhone, the camera that I'm actually filming on right now. Film on the iPhone. This camera is super small. It shoots in 4K with cinematic mode. As you guys can see, I actually have depth of field with this camera right now. And this camera is literally always on me. Let's not forget to mention how good this image actually looks. Now, I know there's a lot of purists out there. A bunch of you have probably seen your favorite YouTuber saying, the iPhone is never going to be a real camera. I agree. That is super, super true. But there's something that a real camera cannot do that your iPhone can. It is film in lighting conditions like this and actually be able to give you a good image. Now, if you were shooting with a real camera, you would probably have to take that image. It would be a lot more detailed and a lot better than this is. To be completely honest, you would have to take it back to your editor and edit the life out of that footage to make it look this good. But what the iPhone can do with all its computational magic, start shooting and get an image like this straight out of camera. And that's exactly why I say that the iPhone is a fantastic camera if you're somebody who's looking at starting a YouTube channel or if you're somebody who just wants to start filming and documenting their life. This is exactly why I choose to film 99% of my videos using just this device, the iPhone. And there's a bunch of things you need to know about this. Like it doesn't have the best audio and it definitely doesn't look professional. So people are going to look at you and feel like you're just one of those kids who's shooting on Instagram. But to be completely honest, the kind of quality and the kind of results you can get from this device are absolutely stunning. And the best part of it all is you do not need to carry any additional equipment with you when you're out filming on this device because, well, it's your phone and you're always going to have it with you. For example, if you were a daily vlogger and you came down to pick up your lunch like I did and you just wanted to show this as a part of your video, I think you can definitely do this using just your phone. I mean, you guys can see the image that I'm getting. It's super stabilized and it looks really, really good. all the time. We're practically using them to reply to all our emails, get our work done, consume content. We walk around with these devices no matter where we are in our house. And we also use these devices on a daily basis to look at other people's memories, to create our own memories and to share those memories. And to be completely honest, what we forget majority of the time is the fact that these devices themselves have the most powerful and capable everyday camera system built right into them. Like I'm standing here in my kitchen, I came to get a drink and I can literally stand here, share this memory, share this moment with absolutely anybody in the world. These devices, while you can share your memories on them and document your life on them, you can also use them for a ton of creativity. And that's exactly what today's video is about. Yes, I use an iPhone to create all the videos on my channel. It's actually crazy how good these cameras are. So it really doesn't matter what kind of content you shoot. I mean, the iPhone can handle 90% of it. I've been shooting for the last three years mainly on two camera devices. One is an iPhone and the other is whichever GoPro I'm actually using. And I can actually get 99% of what I shoot on this channel sorted with these two cameras. You could be somebody who just wants to shoot an unboxing video on your channel as a tech YouTuber and the iPhone being as small, light and as great as an image as it produces would be a fantastic overhead camera for you guys to just get your unboxing video sorted just like this one. be a 
daily vlogger. You could be somebody who wants to document their entire city and life in their city. Or you could be somebody who is interested in just showing people what you're doing when you're out traveling. And for these kind of moments, the iPhone is perfect because it's always in your pocket and you're probably never going to miss a shot. Plus, it's easier to start shooting on this than to set up a proper camera and to start filming unless you're somebody who wants to walk around with an entire rig. Well, then you shouldn't be watching this video. Go away. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're somebody who's already invested in a camera and you have it in your hand and you're watching this video, I by no means am telling you that your iPhone's a better camera than that. And over time, I've used point and shoot cameras like the Sony ZV-1, small budget mirrorless cameras like the Canon M50. I've used Fujifilm mirrorless cameras like the Fujifilm X-S10. And I've also used my iPhone and newer versions of the GoPro. And amidst this wide realm of cameras that I've actually been playing around with, one of the most satisfying things has been pulling out my phone and getting a great image off of it. Well, this is the part where things get interesting because I'm going to tell you what I'm using right now to film this entire video and it's really, really not a lot. This is essentially my iPhone 14 Pro Max on a gimbal on a stool so that I can get my height. So here's a couple of tips that will help you get your documentary journey or your filmmaking journey on your iPhone started and make your entire process a lot easier and a lot faster. This is what I use. These are the settings that I use and these are the tips and tricks that I would give to absolutely anybody out there who's super pumped about starting a channel or starting to document their life just with a device in their pocket. So, first things first, you want to film on the highest possible resolution. Do this by just simply going into the settings app on your iPhone, choosing camera, going into video or file formats and choosing 4K as the resolution. Now, the next thing you want to choose is your frame rate. And if you're going to be talking to the camera or you're just going to be documenting everyday life, doing stuff like this, you want to choose 24 frames per second or 30 frames per second. This is basically when you want to talk to the camera. By no means is 4K important. You might be somebody who doesn't have a computer that can handle 4K video editing. But if you're somebody who wants to keep these videos up for the rest of your life on YouTube, or you want to watch these videos maybe 20 years down the line, 4K is definitely going to hold up at 1080p or a lower HD resolution. So for the next tip, you want to open up your camera app on your iPhone and you're going to see this little slow motion icon at the bottom of your screen, which you can scroll to. It's great. It's super cool that you can shoot 120 frames in HD in slow motion. But what you've got to keep in mind is this is not the highest quality of slow motion that you can get from this device in your pocket. What you can do is just go back into standard video mode, you want to choose 60 frames per second as your video frame rate. The resolution you get is 4K, which is four times better than that slow motion option that you just saw. You take this 60 frames per second video, put it into your editing software, and while editing, you can slow it down to half speed and still get pretty decent slow motion. So if you want slow motion in your videos, definitely use the option that you have built in into your iPhone, but try also shooting in 4K 60. It's going to give you the best quality that you can get. Another key thing you want to keep in mind is lighting. You really, really want to invest in lighting. And ideally, you want a front-facing light. I actually have a ring light in front of me right now. It's a little contrasty. It's a pretty decent image. You definitely want to use a light. Now, Amazon has a bunch of cheap ring lights that you can buy off of it. I'm going to leave links in the description for some lights that I know of, which are really, really useful and really, really good. And if you're somebody who doesn't have the money to invest in a light, all you got to do is get a little bit of natural light into the mix. As you guys can see, I'm standing right near a window right now and the lighting is pretty good the image is super crisp i spent the first year and a half on youtube just using natural light and i think all my videos have looked pretty decent i'm pretty pleased with natural light itself and it's definitely the cheapest and the best source of lighting that you can get while filming your video last tip you definitely definitely want to try and get yourself a mic now, iphones have really good audio quality especially if you're shooting indoors they're pretty decent and it's really not bad to start with just your iphone and the internal mics that are built into the device the one mistake that every creator makes forgets all about the audio and just concentrates on getting the best possible image. Now remember, YouTube, Instagram, or any platform that you want to film for are basically platforms where people want to sit and watch the content and absorb the content and enjoy it. And for that, you're going to have to have great image quality and good audio quality. If they can't hear you and the image looks good, they're going to click on your video and click off in under one minute. And that's going to do you no good and your videos are not going to be viewed by other people because the algorithm won't pick it up. So you definitely want to get a mic. Now the mic that I'm using is the one by DJI as you guys can see right here. It is super nice, it's magnetic, it just clips onto my shirt and the audio quality is fantastic, but it's also super expensive. You don't need to get a wireless mic like I'm using. You can start with something cheaper like the Rode Mic Me L. This is a mic that basically plugs into the lightning port. It's a shotgun mic, which basically means it's directional and it's gonna pick up the audio coming straight from you, removing all the background noise that you have in any particular area. It's not too expensive, it's super cheap. And there's also cheaper options like getting a lav mic from Amazon, which is gonna be so much better than using the internal mics on your iPhone because it's going to help reducing the surrounding noise and the background noise that you have wherever you're filming, which is going to result in a better video on the overall. <laughs> The 
basically that for all those people who have asked me what camera I use or for all those people who have a question about whether you can shoot high quality YouTube videos just using your iPhone. Yes, you can. I do it every week. I do it while I'm out at sea. I do it when I'm traveling and I absolutely love and endorse the iPhone as a primary camera. Keep in mind the tips that I told you to use. This is the camera to start with because it goes everywhere with you and it has phenomenal image quality for the size and weight ratio. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit that like button because it really, really helps the channel out. If you're watched till right now, definitely hit the subscribe button because there's going to be a lot more tech, photography and life at sea videos on this channel. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. I'm Nitin Chavla. See you next time. Peace.